today is the day before opening day for trout season here in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm on my way right now to actually get Caden and Rylan. Caden, Rylan, Carrie, uh, Matthew, Anthony, and my brother are all going to be together for opening day, which is tomorrow morning. Um, our plan right now is to get up early enough to where we can get some breakfast and coffee and then we're going to head right to the stream around six o'clock. In Pennsylvania the rule is on opening day your line cannot hit the water until eight o'clock. So to save us a guaranteed spot the area that we want to go um, like I said we're going to get up real early and get there before everybody else. Like I said, we're going to be a couple hours before anybody gets there. So that's almost guaranteed insurance that we're going to have that spot. So that's our plan and I just wanted to give you guys a rundown. We're going to be talking all together here probably within the next, I'm going to say five hours. Carrie, uh, five to six hours. Carrie's going to make it over about six o'clock. It's 12 now. He's coming right from work. He's got to run around, get a couple things, and then he's going to head right right to uh, my place. He's coming from Williamsport, so he's got about an hour and a half drive. Heading to Mainsburg right now to grab Caden and Ryland, so that's about a 45 to 50 minute drive. Um, hope you guys are enjoying everything that we're here doing so far you know not a lot of stuff going on but we are in season now and it is going to be a really good time I, I, I really think that all of us getting together here tonight and into tomorrow is gonna really set it off so obviously we're targeting trout you know all this all the species that we have in our area we have rainbow brook brown and I feel like I'm missing one rainbow brook brown yeah actually, I actually think that's it and the streams that we fish anyways I mean we might catch a native here and there but that's basically the ones that we're targeting so we have me, Matthew, and Anthony all actually do the fly fishing. Matt, uh, sorry. Caden, Carrie, and Ryland all use spinning rods. So, personally, with the experience of fly fishing, I always actually carry a spinning rod. Just because, you know, with a fly rod, there's so many things going on. You gotta tie, you gotta retie flies, you gotta you retie your leaders, you know, you gotta have an, an abundance of leaders with you when you're fly fishing. So tonight, before we all go out tomorrow morning, you know, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna tie a bunch of leaders, um, you know, get all our fly boxes and stuff set up there. So we're ready, you know, first, first light tomorrow at eight o'clock, we're ready to catch some fish for you guys. So, I'm going to get back to you guys when we get to Caden and Ryland's house. Like I said, I'm on my way there now. I probably still have another 40 minutes until I'm there. So, I'll get back with you guys when we're there. And that's where I'll let them do a little bit of talking to you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Alright guys, so we're at the halfway point. Just a quick update. Didn't want to leave you guys. I'm hanging too long there. We're halfway to Caden and Ryland. stop and get some gas here quick and then after that we're going to finish out the trip pick them up and uh, like I said that's when we'll see you next Well, we made it to get the boys. Put this on the back. 
Yeah. What's up, Caden? What's up? Everyone decided to stay home. Did he? <laughs> Welcome to the new side by side. Oh, yeah. There's Ryan. What are we doing? Going to the new side by side. <laughs> Him and the dog. <laughs> Not bad. Heck yeah. She rips. A little turkey on the dash, huh? Oh yeah, buddy. Ready? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna send my shit in the truck quick and then our laundry just got done. So I'm gonna put it in the uh hamper. Take it downstairs? Yeah. Nugget. Water's gonna be a brisk morning. It is. Wait, did I? What's up, guys? Uh, Carrie just rolled up over there. Yeah. There we go. Just doing a little work on the Ranger before we head out tomorrow. But Carrie rolled up, so all the members are here except for Chase. He won't be here this trip, but he'll be here the next one. So, see you guys once we go over our gear. So, we're out here. Tonight, just doing a new intro and outro for you guys, working on the songs. Um, we got Rylan and Ryan over there, the two editors, working on the computer, getting everything uh, working for you guys. Colin's just sitting over there being the supervisor. Carrie is over here, and um, I'm here. We're just going to sit here. We had to, Matt had to run and grab his license, so he's not here right now, but when he gets back, we're going to run over our gear so you guys know what, what we'll be using tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, out here for opening day. Got the pole and everything, and uh, we got here early, so we get down into our spot before everyone else. So we're heading down in. Here we go, opening day of trout. We're gonna go down in and see what all fish are down in here. We're hoping to maybe see a palomino or two. So we'll see what happens. But we're heading down there now. Me and Colin are running waders this morning, Colin's running a fly pole, and me and Terry are running spinning rods. Um, but we're going to be fishing this little stretch of stream right here. So, see what happens. Well, what's up guys? We're like um, 23, 24 minutes away from... Uh, 7.41. We are 19 minutes away from opening day. Uh, when lines can hit the water, we're going to go ahead and run over Colin's gear here quick. So I'm actually running a 7 foot 4 weight fly rod with a 3 weight reel. Right there. Um, it's made by Big Daddy Rods. And my fly of choice this morning is actually going to be a olive streamer. Beat head. Just, uh, he just got this reel this year and then He's got his vest and his new waders on, so uh, that's his gear. And he's got a GoPro on. You guys will get some POV action here. Uh, we're going to walk up the stream, and I'll run over my gear. Got a couple. That's a pretty, that's an all right hole right there, and then it just keeps getting deeper and stuff up through here. Um, I'm running a spinning rod this year. I'm running the Leland's Lures. Uh, pan fish and trout magnet. Uh, it's a five foot ultra light action two. Um, my reel is just a Cena reel. Um, and then I actually tied this fly last night. You guys will see on our Facebook if you follow us on there. If not, there it is. So there's my setup. Um, and then I got my vest and my waders on. Uh, now we're gonna walk up here and show you guys Carrie's gear. Running the new Quantum Extra Light Spinning Rod. Got the Extra Light Reel on there. Braided line. Running a rooster tail with a minnow mimic on it. 
And lines will hit the water here soon, guys. He's got his little box there. And finally, we're going up here to Matt. Ryland stayed home today. Decided not to come out. Oh, here's Matt. What are you running this year, Matt? Um, Let's see what it's called right here. On the other side. T TFO bug launcher. He's running the TFO bug launcher, and this is his lure right here. Uh, he just picked this up the other day up at Sportsman's Warehouse, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's got his vest and his box with all of his flies in it. Um, and he's running the chest waders. Me and Colin run hip waders, but we are down to 7.43. 17 minutes until lines hit the water, folks. So hopefully we'll be bringing you guys some action of trout here soon. Keep you guys updated. Well, guys, figured to uh, check back in with you. We are officially nine minutes away from when the lines can hit the water. Uh, Dad just rolled up right there. He rolled up. He's going to be fishing with us. Um, we've seen one Palomino so far. Hoping once the sun gets up the rest of the way, we'll have some more Collins down there. Sun's glaring pretty bad down there, but he's down there, and then Dad... Carrie and Matt is a little bit further up up there, but see what action we get into. I'll let you guys know when it opens up. If you guys can see right there, we found a palomino in the hole that we're fishing today, so it's a good sign. Hopefully one of us will catch him today. It's three, two, one. Lines can hit the water, boys. All right, here we go. Lines are hitting the water. Colin's going to out, out here fishing with an olive green fly today with his fly rod. Here we go. Colin's down here. Let's see if I can get you guys a little shade. There he is. He's hitting the water. Dad and Carrie and Matt are up there. Matt's getting ready to hit the water, and Carrie's line's in the water now. Dad's just letting his stuff float there, and looks like he snagged a little bit, but he'll get it. So, um, yeah, we'll let you guys know when anything happens. I'm going to get my line in the water. Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, been out here fishing for a couple minutes. Uh, going to get a video of Colin here quick, doing some fly fishing. Uh, there's a Palomino right down here in this pocket. He's trying to get or anything, really. Uh, it's a pretty cold morning, so we're out here trying to make sure our hands stay warm. He's right in front of the pally right now. He just went right past it. Uh, my dad's right there fishing. Matt's up there fly fishing. Um, so he's up there trying to get it. Carrie's warming his hands. Dad's just chugging, and Colin's out here chugging along trying to get a bite. See what happens. He's right there over there by that Palomino right now. Palomino is right there. So, can you see the Palomino, Colin? So he's out here just throwing his olive green fly today. Got a few guys fishing down below us, but we'll see what happens. Colin just lost his bait, so he's gonna. Lost my first streamer. So I, was, I was throwing the olive streamer. He was throwing that right there. That's so the exact one. He's gonna switch it up here. And Not sure exactly what I wanna go with yet. You wanna take mine and try it out, fly fishing? I might switch well, it. I wanna go with a little bit more of a vibrant color. Or, I might actually try this right here. I'm going to give this a try, guys. That's kind of like what Dad's throwing. Yeah, we'll try that. Yep, so Colin's going to switch it up here, and he's going to go with what he just showed you. Here again, he's throwing his fly fishing rig, and right here's what my dad's throwing today. He's using a spinning combo like me and Carrie. So, see what happens. I'll let and get you guys more video once we get it set back up.
Meanwhile, Colin's back out here throwing his new rig. Carrie's still warming his hands up. Matt moved up the creek a little bit further up there. You can see him. I zoomed in, but he's up there. I think he switched over to his, yeah. He switched up over to his spinning combo. He's throwing a little crankbait. I'll go up and get a shot of that here after a minute. But Colin's down here throwing his fly rod and his uh, new fly. So I'll get you guys a shot when something happens. I'm going to take you up and show you Matt's combo. Moved up here where Matt's fishing. He moved up the stream a little bit further. Here's another shot of his fly rod. Uh, he switched over to his ugly stick and uh, he's throwing his crankbait right now. So, see what happens. Matt's wearing the chest waders. Looks like he's going to wait out in and get his lure he got snagged out there. So, see what happens. Uh, last year when we were here, this right here was filled all the way up to like right here where my foot is. Um, and then if you follow it up a little bit further, I'll pick you guys up. Walk and talk. Um, walk up through here a little bit more. Uh, there's a little cove up and under here that trout were hanging out under last year. Had some success fishing there. Oh. But, yeah, there's Matt. Say what's up. There we go, so we're gonna head back down and we'll let you guys know if we get into any action. Well, folks, uh, haven't really had any luck this morning because the water's really cold, but Colin switched it up a little bit. He switched over to the spinning rod that I was using since I'm filming a lot this morning, and uh, he's actually throwing a spoon, right, Colin? It's kind of like It's kind of like a spoon spinner thing. He'll be able to see it coming through the water here in a second. Yeah, right there it goes. So, right there it is. Uh, it's kind of mimicking a shiner. So we'll see what happens with that. Matt and Colin are the only ones lines in the waters right now because the rest of us are freezing. But you know, having a good time. So there's Carrie. There's Matt up there. Uh, right there's Colin and then dad's down here. So, see you guys and get into more action. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we didn't catch anything at the first spot, um, so we're moving spots. Me and Matt are in his truck, and then uh, Carrie and Colin are rolling out up there. So uh, we'll let you know when we get to the next spot, and uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. So guys, we're um, walking down in to the new spot. We're not going to take our stuff down in yet. We're just going to make sure that, see if we see any fish, because we can see them in here. Uh, daily when we come down in here so we'll see what happens and we're on our way down in so. actually we're right next to a golf course um, so we're heading down in now uh, see the video before this will be hiking and skeet shooting so we're at the new hole under a bridge uh, 
I'm not seeing anything. To this next that big sluice You wanna talk to it here, Colin? Yeah, so up the road from this hole, there's another uh, hole, it's, we call it the snake hole. Um, they usually stock a fair amount of fish in there. Funny story, the reason we call it the snake hole, you wanna tell them, kid? Were you there for it? You were there for it. Mm -mm. Yeah, you were. No. So we were, we were fishing up there, and it was actually Matt. We were fishing, and right by Matt's foot, that actually clambered over Matt's foot, a big old snake, and you know, he's, he's afraid of snakes, so from that point on, we just call it the snake hole. But it's actually a really good spot to fish. Um, it's gonna be strictly spinning rods, but we're gonna go up there and see if we can get everybody on some fish. So we'll see you guys when we get up there, and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. See you guys soon. Guys, uh, we're out here at the, at a, we didn't end up going to the snake hole, it was pretty full. Colin's waiting out in there a little ways, it's almost up over his waiter, she better watch it. Um, me and Matt are just standing here talking and Carrie's down there looking at people's snap stories of fish because we can't catch our own, so. Um, don't know what the move's gonna be, but we're gonna be here for a little bit, so I'll keep you guys updated. You're good. Alright, so we're at another spot right now, we're actually looking at the, uh, a map here that shows us where they stocked. This is the Kowneski River. That's mainly what we're fishing right now. Right there, um, the orange right there. So all this orange is what they stocked. We're actually going to go back up towards Harrison Valley. And right here, once it loads. It's got Dodge Hollow. There man. is, right here you can see Dodge Hollow, uh, Moore Hollow. Moore, Moore Hollow Road is the road that we're going to go right to. It's a dirt road. We're going to pull off there. And you can see the stream right here is all that they stocked. So there's actually a pull off up the road a little ways before that. We're like going right to hit that first. Here somewhere. Yeah, we'll Just hit that right first and then go down to more hollow road and there's a sewer plant. Down behind the sewer plant there's a nice stream too that they stocked. So we'll catch up with you guys when we get there. Well guys, uh, we made a, we made a move to a new hole. Um, I switched over to boots. I had to cross the creek on his back, so he's got my waders and I got his boots. Um, but we're out here at a new hole and we're just gonna follow this stream down a little bit. And uh, there's even another hole down, further down that way. So, um, right there's Colin. So, see you guys when we get into some action. Oh, so Colin's gonna switch it up again to a new fly. So I talked to my uncle, which is he's really, really big into fly fishing, uh, before we come out today. And he told me that, you know, where he's at, season opened up before us. He told me that he was having a lot of luck on the vibrant colors. Um, he even said, like, so vibrant as in, like, pink. Um, I don't really have anything like that right now. I gotta tie a couple, but this is the most vibrant color I have in my box. So I'm gonna throw this. Hold it and, there for a second. All right, you're good. Um, I actually caught a, quite a few brook trout on this last year in this same stream. So right up around this bend, you can see Carrie's walking. Shoots over like head this. down there, and it goes like. We'll hit on, we'll get on down. a straight stretch, and there's a couple good pools there. And so uh, <laughs> we're hoping to get you get get you guys some. Uh, Content on us actually catching a fish here pretty quick, so just stay tuned. And uh, if you follow this stream back up, it actually opens up into a bigger stream up that way. Um, and there's quite a few guys up there, so we had to do what we have to do to win, and I meant changing boots, so we crossed the creek, and uh, we're heading down towards the new holes, and we'll get you guys a fish here before long, we hope. Uh, Matt and my dad actually stayed at a hole further away from us over that way, but we'll get we'll let you guys know when we get into something. Like we said, we were gonna move down the creek a little bit. We were just up there and we moved down a little bit and uh, another nice sized palomino down here. And uh, Colin actually said that he sees another trout next to it. He's throwing his fly rod. 
and it was actually going towards it there for a second it looked like it wanted it but nothing yet we'll see we'll see what happens uh, I'm gonna shut this down we don't have much battery left so I'll let you guys know when something happens well guys uh, Colin hooked into the Palomino I'll uh, show you we're gonna I'm gonna net it so I'll show you guys once we get it in still fighting it up and in but it's coming slowly just don't want to fight it too much so we don't lose it but there it is Colin over here with this fly rod a little bit harder to fight him with a fly rod if you guys have ever fly fished but here we go nice pally coming in get over there well guys got to focus but there it is nice palomino Colin's got it right there look at that beauty that thing is super nice good catch and there we go. There he goes. See you later, buddy. So guys, I got caught in the net and broke off, but this is actually what we caught that golden trout on. It's a salmon egg. So he's back out there swimming good, so good catch and good release. That was a beauty. All right, guys, so we're back to the house. It was an eventful day, but we didn't catch too many fish. Uh, we did end up catching that really nice palomino trout. Um, the one that was on video we ended up putting back. Um, we started out that morning at our first spot right here just close to my house. Didn't have any luck there. The water temperature was really cold. So we ended up packing up and moving to a second spot. Same issue. Um, water temperature was obviously still the same and we didn't have much action there. So we finished out, out our day at that third spot <clears throat> when we got there. Um, we fished up the stream a little ways and finally made it to that pool where we finally got into some fish. Um, right, off at the, right off the bat, um, the camera wasn't on. I hooked into a nice uh, rainbow trout. He broke me off. Um, shortly after that, on film, I caught that big golden trout, which was really nice. He ended up being 22 and a half inches long. Um, he was five and a half inches on his girth, and he weighed 2.8 pounds. So that was a pretty solid fish. Um, caught him on a salmon egg imitation on my fly rod. Um, after that, uh, the cold weather had really put a damper on our uh, batteries for our cameras. So all of our cameras had died. And when the cameras died, we ended up getting into the stream just a little bit deeper down and ran into another golden trout. Um, also I ended up catching that one, and that's the one that we actually kept. So he is actually now being mounted or he's at, he's at the taxidermist because for KCRMC Outdoors that is actually our first team harvest and all the guys and myself you know agreed that it would probably be cool to have that mounted for our first harvest so thanks for following us along with our fishing adventure today it is 2021 trout season today actually that we were unaware of and it's still a gray area um, what we understand right now is that today was actually only, it was like a one day statewide um, trout fishing day. And then something again about it's going to open back up on the 17th. And then that's supposed to be statewide opening, actual opening season. But we're going to look into that a little more and we'll let you guys know what we find out there. But thanks again for tuning in. Um, you'll be seeing more videos on us trout fishing once we figure out what's going on there. But don't uh, forget to leave us a like, um, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in on our trout fishing adventure for 2021 season.